Hi everyone. So far in this playlist of Asteroid Search campaign by IAC, we have looked into what IAC is all about and how we can participate in this kind of Asteroid Search campaigns. Then if you are having any previous version of the Astrometrica, then how you can update it to the newer version. Or let's say if you are doing it for the first time, then how you are going to go ahead and install the Astrometrica setup in your system. Just make sure you are having a Windows system and you are good to go. Then we have focused upon how we can download the practice image set and then why we are having four different images for every image set. So all of this kind of things we have covered so far. And in this video, I am going to launch my Astrometrica software and show you how, what are some of the important buttons that you need to know about this software. So yes, let's get started. So the first thing would be to open our Astrometrica software. And for that, it's going to take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes, depending on the capabilities of your system. So yes, I'm going to open it right now. And I'm just going to fast forward the video so that this whole time is just saved and you can enjoy the next part. All right, guys, so that's our Astrometrica software. And if it's asking you to just reset any kind of files on the Astrometrica software, just click on yes, okay, before moving any further. So after that, the first step would be to load the image set for which you want to prepare your report, okay? So in the previous video, we have downloaded some of the practice image sets and we also extracted them out of the zip file. And just keep one thing in mind that the configuration file of the Astrometrica is set to PS1, okay? Because if you remember in our practice set, we are having PS1 images coming from the Pine Stars one. So if by default over here, if it is astrometrica.cfg or ps2.cfg, please make sure to convert this first into the ps1.cfg. How you can do this? You go to the settings. In the settings, you click on open. In this open, if let's say for example, if it is ps2 or some different kind of configurations, just set it to ps1 configuration. Click on save and then click on OK. And you are all set. And now we are going to open one of this over here. And the way that we do is we simply press Ctrl L and then browse through where exactly this data is present. In my case, it is in the downloads folder and I'm going to browse through it and I'm going to upload it over here. Now, after this, there are three main buttons on this software that you must know for processing these images. The first one is called as astrometric data reduction. The second one is your moving object detection. And the third one is the known object overlay. I'll talk about the remaining parts in a while. But these are the first three things that we're going to talk about. So first of all, let's talk about astrometric data reduction. Well, this is the process in the Astrometrica software that adjusts and corrects astronomical images by comparing the stars in those images with respect to a star catalog. And by the way, in the recent update of the Astrometrica, it is going to have the star catalog of uh, Gaia DR1. And I am assuming that they are having around 2 million uh, data of the stars. So with respect to this data, we are going to go ahead, get this picture and just try to understand that what kind of sky we are trying to look into. And based on that, we'll be having the accurate position and how it's going to move in the upcoming time. So all these kind of ideas we'll be having once you are going to perform astrometric data reduction. The next step, we are having something called as moving object detection. Now this feature looks for the moving objects. For example, let's say there are asteroids going by, comets, right? So by taking multiple pictures of the same area, you're just going to check if something has moved on that particular area or not. So basically this will help our software understand that, okay, you know what? If there is something which is stationary, then this must be stars. Now if there is something which is appearing to move, then that might be something which could be known to us or unknown to us. And then how do we know that if something is moving is known to us or not? Well, for that, we are having another step called as known object overlay. And once you click on this button, it's going to match with respect to the star catalog. And it's going to say that if there is any kind of thing which is moving, are we having information about that thing? If yes, then that is called as known moving object. If not, then we know that we need to mark that. And that is why we are performing all of these things that if we are able to see any unknown moving object, which are not marked by the software, then we need to go ahead and mark it by ourselves. So this is the final result that we are getting for all the four images if you can see, if I can just show it to you. Uh, because of the astrometric data reduction, we are able to see what are the kind of stars which are already present in the catalog with respect to that. It was able to mark it successfully in the green colors you can see in the background. And then after performing the moving object detection and the known object overlay, so whatever objects which are appearing to move over here, they are marked in red. And these are the known objects with respect to the star catalog. Okay. 
another is something called as blink current images so once you're going to click on this it's going to create a whole animation out of this and if i can just click on the fit window size it's going to just zoom in a bit the maximum zoom that is possible that is done and then you can increase the blinking speed if you want to increase the speed of the animation basically you can see that nowadays we can see that all the red dots are appearing to move so i'll talk more about this in the upcoming videos where i'll talk about like you know step by step how you can create your mpc report and then you can submit it but for now i just wanted to tell you what are the most important buttons the only thing you need to know is the astrometric data reduction moving object uh, detection and then the known object overlay after that you are going to go ahead and create the animation by clicking on the blink current images button and if you're aware about this then proceeding forward will be very easy all right guys so that's it about this video over here and now in the next video i'm going to talk about let's say for example all of these red dots over here are the known moving objects but then if you're going to go ahead and zoom in and just look forward to some unknown moving objects what are some of the key things you need to keep in mind to make sure that what you're going to mark as an unknown moving object is really an unknown moving object so that the chances of converting it into a preliminary or the provisional detections are higher so yes i'll see you over there